just like my boomerang. It won't come back. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. In this episode I'm going to show you the One Direction issue and the simple solution to fix it. Now this usually only occurs when you're setting up your machine for the first time or if you're incorrigible like me if you've been fiddling with it. A One Direction fault is usually quite simple. You've simply broken the wire that goes from the direction pin on the axis to your stepper motor driver. If you lose that, an axis will move only in one direction. So you check the wire and you find it's actually intact and then all of a sudden it's, have I broken it? Well in this case the answer is no, well hopefully no anyway. But there's one simple thing you can do before you start pulling the whole thing apart trying to find out what the issue is. And that is take a look at the screen. So I've zeroed out the y-axis and if you take a look there on the top of the screen when I turn the MPG you can see it's moving as you expect. But look what happens when I reverse direction on the MPG. You can see the DRO for the y-axis is not changing. So if this is the result you're getting, you're winding the axis in one way and it's moving, you wind it in the opposite direction, the DRO doesn't change, the axis doesn't move, then rejoice. There's nothing wrong with the hardware on either Masso or your stepper motor driver. It's just a simple configuration error. So we need to look at the axis that's giving me the problem, in this case the uh, Y axis. Let's take a look and we'll have a look at what's causing the problem. When we take a look at the y-axis settings, we can see we have a maximum travel of 0 and a minimum travel of 1171. We can instantly see that this is incorrect because the maximum travel should always be larger than the minimum. If you don't do this, you end up with one direction of travel only. To fix this, it's simply a matter of swapping the two figures around. Make sure your maximum travel is larger than your minimum. After I made that change, I repowered Masso to make sure those settings took effect. Let's give it a test. Well, it goes. And it comes back. Excellent. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I had soft limits disabled. Well, there's a little trick with that. Disabling soft limits only disables it while you're running a program. When it comes to jogging around the table, you are bound by your soft limit settings. So it is important to get those set up correctly. And I will make a, a video in the future showing how to set those up. Now there will be a change made to the software to prevent you making this error. But uh, until that does occur, it's important to know that if you're fiddling around with it as sometimes I do, then uh, you can get this problem. But fortunately, it's really easy to spot and just as easy to fix. Okay, well that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, maybe learned something new, and hopefully you'll never need to use it. All that remains me to do is to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that, like my Y-axis, you can return. Oh, and uh, if you're interested in making a boomerang like this one here, I'll put a link below showing how I made it, and you can download the files for it. And by the way, this does come back. Cheers.